Hi, you're watching Raptor Customs. This is Project 700 Wide Body XF. And in this episode, we're fabricating the wide body. It's all about to chop the wheel arches off it and weld some new ones on. We're going to TIG weld them rather than MIG weld, so it's a neater finish. There's no splats of weld everywhere. And uh, we've got to customise these to get it to fit. So now we have some lovely smooth flared wheel arches. So thanks Paul very much for his help. Um, to be honest, it cost more than I was hoping to spend. We spent over a thousand pounds in labor just for the filling and sanding of these arches and side skirts. But I have to say, Paul has earned it because he spent four whole days and four nights on this, so about six whole days in labor in total, getting these just absolutely lovely to the best of our ability. Um, that sounds like it's got a lot of body filler in it, doesn't it? But actually it hasn't. He's smeared it on, sanded it off, smeared it on, sanded it off countless times. That's not to build it up, that's just to keep uh, reducing any imperfections further and further and further. Um, I'll show you around now how the car is. On the back here, we've got a 50 mil flare. However, hello Poochie. Hello. <laughs> we've got a 50 mil flare. Um, but of course the arches did have a slight flare from standard anyway, as you can see. So it's actually only 30 mil wider than standard. So on the back of the car, in total, it's 60 mil wider. Um, both arches combined. And on the front here, we've actually just added these arches on, just so basically this is the same distance as this. So when you look at the car, it looks correct and flared the sill out and stuff using lots of plastic welding and a proper uh, plastic bumper sort of filler to go over where we've plastic welded it. And on the front, we've come out just six millimeters. That's all it needed. Um, the wheels on the front didn't protrude anywhere near like the back did. Um, but not only that, we've recessed the headlamp to create um, a even wider look, if you like, and that's gone in seven mil. So overall, um, it's six mil wider per side. So the whole front end of the uh, car is 12 mil wider in total. It's going to look as if it, it's double that. I've got a little magnet here and if there was a lot of filler in this it wouldn't stick to the steel bodywork. So despite Paul refilling and sanding this literally countless times there's only actually a very small amount of filler. So I've made these little finishes to go here like so quite happy with the shape of that and I made them from plaster of Paris um, these aren't going to be on the car this is for high to take a mold off and then we'll make these out of real carbon fiber which I'm quite looking forward to I've just got a little discrepancy here though where I initially made the shape from cardboard and filled it full of plaster of Paris and that's the seam of the cardboard just there so I'm going to try and carefully put a bit of uh, body filler in there and hope that that'll sand smooth. I've got to be delicate with these now. These are really uh, fragile pieces, but they're just to take a mold off and um, that'll be their purpose all done and over with. Well, I'm basically at the stage where we're ready to strip the car down, uh, ready to go to the paint shop. But there's dust ugh, everywhere and on me. So um, I think we'll get it outside first and then blow all the dust off with an airline. It's probably more efficient to blast it off with like a jet wash or something, but there's still bare metal work on the car. And then the primer and the filler in places is slightly porous. So I don't really want to get the car wet. So I think we use the airline.
So when I built this car a few years ago, um, the way we did it is now playing dividends, which is great. So, for example, we replaced all the screws in the grill, and then we smeared a little bit of grease over every head. So now they're not corroded whatsoever, and they'll come out. Um, the clips were held on tightly with hot glue to pull them nice and tight, snug fit. But the good thing with hot glue is you can then actually pick it off to release the clips so it will come apart okay. And also everything's already labelled up. All the parts look which way it goes up, where it's located on the car. So that's a big help. So the strip down has been easy peasy really. Here we are, Oxford Autos. This is how they've done so far. Looking very nice, very, very blue. Love it. This lot, I've noticed a couple of imperfections. I presume they're finishing off there. That's cool with me. Polishing it up also, very nice. Right, let's get these stencils on. So the car's back in the workshop and she is looking gorgeous. Look at that. I love the bonnet, absolutely love it. And the arches are now looking, I don't know how to describe it, just much more sort of design intentional. They no longer look stuck on, they, they suit the car and they look gorgeous. these guys were recommended and there's the result very nice but I do have a keen eye and I'm going to go over it with a fine tooth comb mark it up and any little discrepancy in it I will ask them to sort it out for me so this is what I call a China graph pencil and it's kind of a, a waxy pencil that's safe to use on paint. So you can draw all over it, pressing lightly of course. And then it doesn't like wash off with water, it kind of stays on there. But if you apply a little bit of detailer, let it soak for a minute. And then just gently rub it off. It hasn't harmed the paint. So this is what I'm going to use now to find any discrepancies and mark it for the body shop. There is one thing I'm not happy about, and it's a shame really. What it is, is this carbon fibre spoiler um, it suffered a bit of damage and it ended up with a crack in it along the edge and uh, I asked the guys at the body shop if they could airbrush the edge in black, repair the crack beforehand and then re-clear coat the whole thing. So rather than a crack we've got an airbrushed edge and we've still got exposed carbon fibre. Uh, unfortunately I think there's been a bit of miscommunication and now they've painted the whole spoiler gloss black. So it no longer looks like carbon. Well, you, you can't tell it's carbon. That's just something we'll have to deal with. It does look very nice, but there's a lot of other carbon going on the car. Um, keep watching episodes to come. 
we are seeing some of high yang's parts known as high carbon going on this lots of more carbon to come and it'd be nice if the spoiler was still carbon fiber so i'll see what i can do with that but for now let's just concentrate on getting the blue paint as flawless as possible and then we can carry on rebuilding it well did i expect the project to go absolutely smooth and perfect uh no of course i didn't it's a massive project and to be honest with you it's taken hundreds of hours and tens of thousands of pounds but do you know what it's worth it i absolutely love the car already it's not finished yet it's not even assembled i haven't even driven it yet i haven't tried the new brakes uh, because there's still no interior in the car but we're getting there it's getting more and more exciting and i'm going to concentrate on marking up the blue paint uh, find any little discrepancies with that uh, ask the body shop to cut and polish those bits so they are as flawless as possible really and then crack on with the rebuild so stay tuned let's go